So my shelter needs a little bit of work. It was um, a lot of high winds last night and another night like that and it won't hold up. So I'm going to go ahead today and uh, use some of the supplies I liberated and rebuild my shelter so it's a lot stronger when we'll stand up to high winds. I hope you enjoy this one. Um, if you haven't already, sub. That'd be cool. And give this video a like. My original plan was for this video to be kind of silent and not so much me talking, but there's a few things I need to explain while the video goes on, so I'm going to do that. Before my shelter was like this, uh, a couple weeks ago I had these square panels from an ice fishing shelter surrounding my tent. Unfortunately, I find that they were better suited for a paddock for underneath me as I sleep to insulate me and keep me warm. So that's where they are. They're actually on the inside of the tent on the ground that I'm sleeping on. And I know this video is short, but to actually get everything torn down and put back together, it was a big task. This whole thing took over an hour and a half to get disassembled and reassembled to a way that when the snow is, my tent will not collapse and the high winds won't get to, to me. And that big orange roll on the ground is a heavy-duty insulated piping tarp that my friend Gary gave to me. It's very good. It's warming and keeps the inside of the tent warm. So that's why I'm actually doing most of this is to remove the green tarp because it's not that insulating and use the orange ones as the main layer and use the green tarp as something to keep the snow off. And also just an FYI, 99% sure I know where he got these big orange tarps from. He didn't buy them. He didn't get them from work. I know where he took them from. There's a construction site not too far away and for a building and suspiciously I was looking at the tarps they were using to cover some of their construction equipment and they seemed to be gone. But I'm really not one to punch a gift horse in the mouth. And I figured what would happen was going to happen is when I put the bigger tarp on my tent would kind of somewhat shrink down and collapse a little bit which I'm okay with. The uh, smaller area is warmer. Now you can see me here trying to figure out what the heck I'm going to do because I'm not doing this with any plan. I just figured grab three pieces of wood and make a TP-like structure and throw a tarp on it. And I'm just standing here trying to figure out well, how am I going to do this without destroying everything. As you can see right now, I'm just tying two pieces of wood together. I don't have any nails and a hammer on me, so I'm using some heavy-duty cordage and just tying it together. Same thing. Believe it or not, this took a lot of work to get to this point to have the three pieces of wood structure to tie together. Yeah, I, this to get to this point, I'd say it took me about 45, 50 minutes to get done. 
and I, you're going to see me here wrapping it up with cord like a maniac. But it's done, so yeah. This was the hardest part, to get the green tarp over everything. The tarp is so like bendy and crinkly, it gets stuck on everything. This was difficult. And if you cannot also see how much my tent shrunk down, that's okay, I'm fine with that. That's gonna be a lot warmer. Just, uh, my body heat is able to heat up a smaller space better than a larger space. I was done everything, I got inside and took a look around and it's comfortable, it's cozy, and I'll be warm. And dry, dry is important, I'm always dry. This is exactly what I wanted from a shelter. It's a lot smaller inside now, which is what I wanted. Uh, the, the, this yellow padding is fantastic to keep the heat in, and especially in the winter, a smaller shelter keeps the heat a lot better. Well, it took a little bit of work, but uh, I think this shelter has uh, successfully been reinforced. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, like my video, and if you would be so cool to uh, sub, sub. <laughs>